Hi there. El Shaddai has been working in the field of women and children. Uh, we are basically helping the children who are at risk. Um, we run children's homes, shelters, community centers, slum schools, non-formal schools, and various kinds of thing, healthcare program for the children who are deprived. India is an upcoming country. Uh, our economy is doing well, but the trouble, it's the saddest part is that rich are becoming more richer and the poor are becoming more poorer. Uh, below five, one out of every two child is anemic and one out of four dollars in girls are getting married, forced to marry before the age of 15 and 30 out of 100 girls don't even finish the primary school, those who go to the primary school. So we have a very grim situation when you travel in the villages and in the remote areas, even in the urban areas, in the slums, people live in a very, very pathetic condition. They don't have anything as basic. We have a government, they are doing work, but the hands of the welfare is not reaching to the people who live in villages and the poor areas. It was shocking to see in the last month three incident which was reported in the newspaper. One is one man's wife died in a government hospital. Hospital refused to give him an ambulance and his village is 50 kilometers away from the hospital. He had to pack up his wife, dead wife, carry on his shoulder and walk back to his house. And he walked for 10 kilometers with his 12 year old daughter carrying a plastic bag, crying on the street. And after 10 kilometer walking, some media, local media people saw this man walking with this, something like a stick and they happened to ask him, he said, this is my wife who's died. And it became a news and it came in the public. I was so embarrassed and I was so hurt. And I saw that, just think about it, that your wife died, your husband died and you don't have a, a vehicle to take home and you have to pack up and carry on your shoulder. We thought that was a very shocking news, but after a few days, there was another one came. Someone was saying an old lady died in a hospital. She had to move back to the village. The hospital did not provide the ambulance. So the railway employees came, jumped on her bed, broke her legs and packed her like a, like a bag and tie her on a bamboo and carrying her to the railway station to send her to her village by the train. That may be, I thought that was very shocking. After one week, there was another news. One lady delivered a baby and the hospital checked her out before the time and husband and the newborn baby was traveling on the bus. On the bus, wife died, the bus stopped and asked the man and the child and the wife to be taken out. He was dropped in the middle of a jungle. It was raining. He had to wait there three hours with his wife's dead body to get some help. So we live in a country, uh, India is great, we call it incredible India, but we have such an incredible things happening in our country that people in poverty are suffering. People in low caste and Dalits are being deprived we need to make a change. That's what the El Shaddai is all about. We are not a political organization. We are a welfare organization. Our job is to bring future to the children who never had one. We have helped hundreds of children, hundreds and hundreds of children, with thousands of them. We have helped hundreds of families, help them to stand their own feet. We give them where we dig wells in the area where there's no water and we give them chickens, gold, we repair houses, we support them in setting up small businesses. In this last 23 years of our journey as a charity, as social work, we have seen incredible things happening. Last weekend we had the whole parent staff meeting and all these uh, children, we have nearly 400 children living in our homes around Goa in six homes. And so we had a meeting with all these parents to discuss with them about how we can bring a change in their children, how much we want them to, to partner with us. Because most of this parent is a single parent. And many of our children have no parents. Some of them are single parents, like mostly a mother. 
and she works in somebody's house. She has no house, and uh, she works in somebody's house as a maid. Uh, so she has no place to keep her children. That's it. That children are with us. Ninety percent of the people who came for the meeting of women who have been cheated by men who got into so-called marriage, a short-lived marriage, had two, three children, then the man left. It was sad to see their life stories and uh, some of them share their life stories and how their lives been impacted by the work of El Shaddai. One lady was a sex worker. She'd been cheated again by men. And uh, she said, I don't want to, I want to stop all this. I want to do a normal job. And, El and, and everyone has stories of how appreciative they are about the work of El Shaddai. I'm telling you this story because some of you are listening to me, we've been supporting the charity over the years, and we are truly grateful for your support. Your support enabled us to do what we are doing. Without your support, it's just not possible what we are doing. So much of money every month we have to spend for the welfare of the children, food, shelter, clothing, stuff. All this happened just because people like you, all those who've been supporting in the past. I just want to say a big thank you for your support. We are truly grateful for what you do. And if you're a person who has not been supporting and, and you are listening to me, I encourage you to sign up to sponsor a child. It costs 2,000 rupees in Indian rupee or 20 pounds. It gives a future for another child. There are a lot of children are waiting for someone to come and be support. And should I always run on a very tight budget because there is so much of need and it's so difficult to keep quiet when you see such a need. Even uh, in Little Econ, a Kalangut project, uh, they come across a child who had an abscess, who has an abscess in the back of the neck. It's gone so big and um, the back, uh, because of the child's back is broke. And we are looking forward to help the child and uh, see how we can remove the abscess. A little cute young girl, uh, how we can help her to be operated and she can get into a normal life. So there are so many, so many painful stories of people in poverty, in injustice, in suffering. And I believe you and me got to be responsible to help such people to make their lives better than what they are. We got to thank God that we have a life where we can sit in a nice place and talk, have a nice house to live. I believe that we all need to show a little bit of kind, act of kindness to these people who are somehow less fortunate.
मेरा जितना हिस्ट्री होता मैंने सब जुबी दीदी को बताया जुबी दीदी ने हमको हेल्प किया है और अभी हमको लगता है मैंने जो सपना देखा है मेरा बच्चे के हम तो पढ़ा लिखा नहीं है लेकिन हमारा बच्चे को मैं पढ़ा के इतना पढ़ा करने के लिए मैंने ये सब का तो मूटा है मेरे तीन बेटियां हैं एक है आठ साल की एक है सात छः कंप्लीट है और एक चार साल की है और मेरे तीनों बच्चे यहाँ पे अलशदाई में हैं और एक अभी नॉर्मा हाउस में है और दो कैथलिन हाउस में हैं मेरे हस्बैंड अभी एक साल हो गए मेरे हस्बैंड एक्सपायर्ड हो गए तो मैं मेरे बच्चों को अकेली नहीं पाल सकती हूँ क्योंकि मुझे बचपन में ही माँ बाप नहीं है तो मैं आश्रम में पढ़ी पढ़ी हूँ और बाद में मेरे बच्चों को देखने के लिए मुझे सहारा नहीं मिल गया तभी मैं ऑलरेडी अलशदाई की स्टाफ थी तो मैं अलशदाई के बारे में अच्छी तरह से जानती थी तो मुझे मदद मिल गई है कि अलशदाई में मेरे बच्चे को रख सकती हूँ तो मैंने दो बच्चे को 2013 में रखा दिया और लास्ट ईयर इतनी बड़ी प्रॉब्लम हुई कि मेरी छोटी बच्ची थी उसको रखने के लिए मुझे जगह नहीं था और मेरा हस्बैंड भी तभी मेरे साथ नहीं था तो आ, ऐसा हो गया कि मैंने मेरे बच्चे को और किसके पास रखने के लिए दिया तीन महीने लोग तीन महीने तुम लोग रखो उसके बाद मैं तुम्हें पे करूँगी उसके बाद मेरे बच्चे को वापस लेके जाऊँगी क्योंकि मैं होम नर्स हूँ तो ऐसा हो गया कि तीन महीने हो गए वो आदमी ने बोल दिया कि तेरे बच्चा मैं वापस नहीं दूँगा क्योंकि मुझे बच्चा नहीं मैं तुम्हारा बच्चा गोद ले रहा हूँ और मैं उसका संभाल करूँगा बोल के तो मुझे बहुत डर लगने लगा है तो एक बार मैंने जूलिया मैम से आके बात कर दिया उन लोग मेरे बच्चे नहीं दे रहे तो जूलिया मैम ने मुझे बहुत सारा बात बता दी है हिम्मत आ गई कि पुलिस का रस कर देंगे तो मैं मेरा बच्चा जाके लेके आ जाऊँगी तो मैं गई और वहाँ पर जाके बता दिया कि मुझे मेरा बच्चा चाहिए उन लोग देने के लिए तैयार नहीं था फिर भी मैंने बहुत बोल दिया मैं दूसरे दिन ला के तुम्हारा मेरा बच्चा वापस तुम्हारे पास देगी वापस देना अभी मुझे अर्षदा में मेरा बच्चा को कम से कम हाजिर हाजिर लगाना है वहाँ पे तो उन लोग ने मेरा बच्चा मुझे दे दिया उस दिन दे दिया और उसके पास उन पेरेंट्स के पास मैं वापस उनको उसको नहीं दे दिया मैं परमेश्वर को धन्यवाद करती हूँ कि मेरे तीन बच्चे माँ बाप नहीं है जिंदगी में कोई नहीं सिर्फ तीन बच्चे परमेश्वर ने मुझे दे दिए इसलिए बस मैं थी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ माई चिल्ड्रन आई डोंट है पेरेंट्स But you took care of my children. Thank you so much.